Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight the new beta release of WinLater that is adding a lot of new features and optimizations when compared to version 9, which we saw released back in January of this year. The new beta update to WinLater is making a lot of progress when it comes to both game performance as well as stability on Android. First of all, Bruno says that the root FS has been restructured so that each library was compiled individually, and they've only kept the libraries that are required by Wine and Box64. After this, the developer went and added native glibc, which we've seen in some WinLater mods that have gained popularity lately. This has been added to this beta release, and it helps improve I.O. speeds for better performance when emulating games. Bruno made some minor tweaks to Vortec. The internal registry editor has been improved, which makes the container start up faster. And they've added a few new options like opening the Android browser from Wine, using the Android clipboard within Wine, and adding a capture pointer when using an external mouse with WinLater. They've also been able to add in some networking adjustments with Wine, which has helped fix some games that were not loading up properly. And the last thing that they added to the first beta of WinLater 10 was direct rendering on X server and Vulkan. So that update came out about two weeks ago with the initial launch of WinLater 10 beta. But just yesterday, Bruno released another beta. So the update adds the missing MPEG1 GStreamer plugin, which has prevented some games from launching properly. They added a workaround for Dino Crisis 1 and 2, and they updated Box64 to version 0.3.4 which should help improve performance and address some stability issues compared to the previous release. From what I'm reading, this update should be installed just like any other app update. So there isn't going to be a need to delete the application and set up your containers all over again. However, remember this is a beta and it's always a good idea to back up your saved files before you install a big update like this. I really like seeing the progress WinLater has been making over the last couple of years. We've gone from barely launching any Windows game on Android to running full-blown AAA games from just a few years ago. And the plethora of indie games that are now playable on a mobile device is just fantastic. So let me know if you had any issues getting WinLater installed and working properly on your device. And please do not forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel as we're getting incredibly close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone.